God, giving you two choices, female or male. Bisexuals, taking the pills, crushing them up and snorting them. Okay, why do I feel like this meme could also be made with non-binary people? Like take him, the male and the female, but like, well, uh, you know what, either I like both of these options or just like don't, don't like either of these options. So I'm just gonna like mix it and do my own thing and snort it. It would work too, but to be fair, just doing both because you're bisexual and just like, listen, I don't want to choose between men and women. I'm not gonna do that. And just doing both. Seems entirely fair. <laughs> A little bit be curious, and I'm not going back to my channel. It is time for some good old bisexual memes. I feel like it's been quite a while. I I know I did like bisexual TikTok a while ago, but, but as for memes, it's literally been a while. So that's what we're doing today. But you know the deal, before we continue, y'all gotta get hydrated. So grab some water or some tea or whatever else you like to drink. And then we'll look at some more memes. Are you hydrated? Good, let's go. The queer friendship group when the token straight agrees that a girl is hot. <laughs> to be honest, when I was the token straight, every group has one. Listen, she does not know about this channel yet, but in my friend group there's this girl who very openly said, because like we were just talking about sexuality, and I just happened to look like over and in her direction, and she just immediately panicked and went, don't fucking look at me, I don't fucking know. And honestly, I kind of respect it. But I wasn't even like looking at her to get an answer, but a token straight might be the right term, but it also might very well be the wrong term. For her at least, but yeah, I feel like a lot of friend groups have these because queer people do literally just tend to flock together. <laughs> Fuck all genders. Fuck all genders. What did I say? Just bisexuals and pansexuals and non-binary people just not giving a shit about gender. Although to be fair, for a lot of people that's kind of the difference between bisexual and pansexual is bisexuals like all genders, sure, but might still like have a preference and like might feel their attraction to different genders very differently while pansexuals are just like, you know what, fuck gender. I don't give a shit about gender as long as we're vibing we're vibing and it doesn't really play a, a like a role in their attraction usually so i think this might be more accurate with pansexual but honestly just fuck all genders <laughs> i watched the witcher for the plot if this is the plot i guess i listen i have not watched the latest season i i want to i just haven't got around to it but I feel like, yeah, a lot of a lot of people also watch The Mummy for the plot, right? Because that's like, that's like the movie that is kind of bisexual culture because apparently everyone finds everyone attractive. Okay, I got a frog tea kettle with tadpole cups and I don't have anyone to share my excitement with, so look at this. Posted in r slash pics, but reposted in r slash bisexual memes because everyone we must locate this door. Not a meme, but important. It is a frog teapot with tadpole cups. That... That is so cute. Literally. Why are like the most cups and everything that's like very sold? Okay, probably because not a lot of people would actually look at these and want to buy these, but why aren't these like sold as like normal? Like, 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 why wouldn't you just like sell these? You sell normal plates, like whatever, they're white, they're round, you might have different colors. Just sell these alongside that it's literally a frog tea kettle and it's adorable bye women bye men no no bye men that's a different story yeah isn't kind of the the cliche though that they have like a straight either like 
gamer golden retriever coded boyfriend or just this dude who has like bi wife energy that's like you know he's straight but he's also like super chill and accepting but i guess i could kind of understand going for a bisexual man as well you know listen i mean you know you don't really pick your partner based on sexuality i guess like you don't go around being like, if you're bi, you're not gonna look at your partner and be like, well, you're not bi, I'm not gonna date you. Some people will, sure. And honestly, I can kind of understand because people are still gonna dismiss you as a straight or as a gay couple. But wanting to be like deeply understood by your partner kind of makes sense. And I feel like a lot of people who are like only attracted to one gender might not necessarily get it. So I would kind of get it. Still seems kind of weird, but listen, do whatever you want. But listen, as a bi woman, you might not want to say goodbye to men entirely, but bi men, however, me on the outside, just looking very manly, I, I guess, and kind of old. I'm pretty sure you do not look this old. Uh, me on the inside, just being a femboy and celebrating bi pride. Well. You can be both. You can be multiple things. I guess a lot of people might look at you and be like, well, that's a straight person. If you like, literally look. Because people are dickheads, they like to dismiss queer energy because they don't pick up on it. So they might think you're a straight person, but on the inside, you're just celebrating. But listen, you can celebrate on the outside too. The bisexual urge to drink coffee and tea at the same time. Is this something you started doing because people were like, listen, you have to pick one. And you know that people are also like, okay, what do you like better? Cats or dogs? What do you like better? Tea or coffee? And you're just like, you know what? Fuck it both. And I'm going to prove to you and drink both at the same time. Because honestly, that's, that's kind of fair. I gotta be honest, I do literally prefer coffee. And I personally just get caught off guard if people say they don't like either. Because then it's like... Most people like coffee, I guess. And a lot of people like tea, so I don't feel like either. But still. Why not do both? But listen, I feel like a lot of us have multiple drinks at the same time anyways. It's like, you kind of want to like, drink water or tea for hydration, but you also want coffee because you just enjoy it or because you're hoping it'll make you more awake. So listen, I always have at least two drinks at a time somehow. That's just normal. <laughs> okay, so you have a gay lisp. Yes. And you do the limpress gesture often. Yes. And say yes instead of yes in casual speech. Yes. So you're gay. No, I'm bisexual. <laughs> okay, listen, a lot of stereotypes are kind of a communal thing. I mean, again, the kind of whole not sitting straight just makes sense, because if you're not sitting straight, you're queer, obviously. Not really why, but still, like, a lot of queer people just can't sit straight. Like, I'm yet to meet a queer person who literally just manages to have good posture. Like, sure, we can do it. It's just not comfortable, and we don't. And the same with, like, Limbrus, like, honestly, I feel like that's also just a lot of us. Like, sure, it's the very, are you? But I feel like a lot of us do it and kind of queer slang, like saying yes instead of yes, might also be passed around in the community a bit. But you know, that's okay. <laughs> but honestly, biphobes are gonna like dismiss your sexuality anyways. Like no matter, like it doesn't matter. Even if you don't seem stereotypically gay, they're gonna dismiss it anyways, based on random shit, or just based on your current partner. Why in the hell would he wear this? To attract women? Fuck everything in the ass. Uh, no, to attract everyone. Because why would he say, fuck everything in the ass? I mean, sure, like if he said fuck everyone in the ass, it might be better grammar. But I guess his point still stands. Like, he's just putting it out there that he's looking for ass. He doesn't really care about the person's gender. 
but he's he's into it and he's putting it out in the open and honestly you kind of gotta respect it society my now by formerly gay self butch women being into women too i kind of get it like if you're kind of suppressed in your sexuality because people are like well if you're into men you must be gay right so if you're just kind of going from that and just like thinking you're only attracted to men kind of making the road over butch women because they might look more like men i mean obviously they don't look like men because they're not men but because they look more like men kind of makes sense i guess and then you're realizing wait they might look a little bit masculine but i'm into them even though they're women so i guess but what does society have to do with it society is kind of very against bisexual people so i'm i'm not sure how society fits in here but the, the overall it just makes sense mm, trying to attract women me a bisexual guy my aggressively gay vibes and mannerisms i mean a lot of women tend to feel very comfortable around gay men just because gay men seem safer than straight men a lot of the time because well straight men have done some shit i mean so have gay men but usually not to women so you know i get why women feel safe but I, f I feel like you would have to be very direct when you're trying to flirt with them because otherwise they might just like think you're trying to hype them up or something by giving them compliments so i think you would you would definitely have to tell them but listen it's, it is possible. <laughs> bisexuals. Every match unmatches me because they think I cheat. Also bisexuals. Every match turns out to be a couple looking for a third. Also bisexual. Every match is a man looking for a threesome. Bisexuals. <laughs> you guys are getting matches? Listen. You you can't win. Being a bisexual, this, this is what I mean. Society as a whole not too fond of bisexuals which i don't get because i still don't understand how people are this mad at other people's sexualities because like listen what do i care who you're attracted to right like what do i care what do i care if you look at men and women and be like yeah no they're attractive i like i would i would be down technically what do i care you know but listen <laughs> you literally just can't win Either people just think you constantly cheat, or they're trying to use you as like a third, even though, I don't know, like either you get fetishized, or you get dismissed, or people are just creepy. I'm really sorry bisexuals, y'all, y'all just don't have it easy. <laughs> I get told to choose a side. <laughs> I didn't know sexuality was a war now, but okay okay but listen bisexuals have literally chosen a side you're just under the misconception that there are only two sides but they're not you know like binary options don't really work with anything so um they have chosen a side they chose the side of bisexuals it's not that fault you're dumb and realize that or don't realize that there are more than two options or two sides to choose from. That's not on them, that's on you. <laughs> okay, am I bisexual or is this combat? <laughs> okay, listen. If society dismisses, dismisses bisexual people, it is frustrating. But probably the worst effect is that you start doing it to yourself as well. Because it's literally so ingrained in us that it is honestly just difficult to tell sometimes. And then you're constantly on this bicycle of either just questioning if you're actually bisexual or if you're just reading too much into it or if you're just like pretending to be because you're afraid to admit you're fully gay 
or because it's combat and all your life you keep being told, oh, you'll find a husband and marry one day, or oh, you'll find a nice girlfriend one day. Like, you know. Or you just constantly like, wait, I'm attracted to women, so I must be gay. And then just like, oh, wait, no, I'm attracted to men now. Okay, I'm straight. Don't do it to yourself, and also don't do it to other people. <laughs> When my mom tells me to stand up straight, but I haven't come out of the bar yet. That looks very straight. I mean, apart from the fact that this kid is literally wearing something that's basically rainbow colored. Um, standing up straight might be difficult for a lot of queer people. We've been over this. My bisexual ass, fanboys or dom mommies? Okay, listen. Society keeps telling you to pick a side. Which is rude as fuck. But why are you telling yourself to pick a side? Because that's the great thing. You're bisexual. You already know. You get to choose more freely. I mean, honestly, like, even if you're straight, you don't have to, like, have a set type. But listen. You don't have to choose. If you're attracted to men and women, you can choose both. You know? <laughs> Marriage. What people think. I now pronounce you straight for life. What it's actually like though. I promise to be monogamous to you because that is the contract we are entering, but that does not erase my sexual attraction to other genders. Which is why the entire, oh, you're dating a, a guy as a woman now? Okay, you must be straight. Which is rubbish. Because listen, once you start dating someone, or if you're in a monogamous relationship with them, or you're getting married to that person, literally, the weirdest thing about monogamous people is just assuming that you're suddenly not attracted to anyone else ever again, because that's just not how attraction works for most people. Like, obviously, you're still gonna see people and be attracted to them. It doesn't necessarily mean anything, because attraction is just something that happens for most people. If you're arrows and watching this and just like, lol, I can't relate, but it's funny. Hi, welcome, I guess, but listen, for most people, it just kind of happens, and that's very natural. And, you know, like, why would it be different? If you're straight and you get married to your wife, you're still gonna find yourself attracted to other women occasionally. So why would it be different if you're suddenly also attracted to other men because they're bisexual? Literally, it doesn't make a difference. I don't get people. <laughs> no one. Bisexuals. Fucking purple, though. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, purple is kind of a cool color. Like, I prefer green. Which might also just be a very queer thing to say. Because I always say black. Because black is literally my favorite color, but then there are other people who keep telling me black is not a color, and then I was like, well, fucking green then. I don't give a shit. But fucking purple though. Purple is still a very pretty color. The four horsemen of bi culture The Mummy, Pirates of the Caribbean, Van Helsing, and The Mask of Zorro. Is it because he can fight with both hands? Is that why we're including Zoro here? Or is it just because most bisexuals are suddenly just attracted to him? I love the Zoro movies though. I literally do. I'm not bisexual. But still, I haven't actually watched Van Helsing. I feel like I probably should, not because it's like a bisexual movie, but because I've always wanted to watch it and never got around to it. But honestly, there are a lot of movies and series like that, so. Oh well. But yeah, to be fair, like the first one I always think of is Mummy. Uh, the Mummy when I when I think of like bisexual culture or something, I guess. But yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean is also fab. Also, a lot of bisexuals mentioned that movie. <laughs> okay, casual reminder that Japan has a gym bar with rib girls that will make you work out and drink protein shakes. Just thought I'd put that out there. Um, bad news for anyone with tattoos, because apparently in like public studios at least in Japan, tattoos aren't actually allowed. 
I don't know why, but apparently it's a thing. But still, I feel like a lot of bisexuals would probably enjoy this. <laughs> My friends, when I come out as bisexual to them, be homophobic. No, no, no. Be supportive. I mean, I mean, it should be like this because they're your friends. They love you as a person. It like really shouldn't matter to them who you're attracted to because it literally makes no difference. Like, like I, I don't get it. It literally makes no difference, right? But I'm still glad you had that experience because unfortunately a lot of people don't. <laughs> okay, men in suits and women in dresses. This is brilliant. But I like this. Men in dresses and women in suits. I can't comfort because I have a thing for anything like androgynous or gender bendy. So anyone combining like traditionally masculine with feminine things, which is also why like having a beard and makeup on is still so insanely attractive to me. You know, I'm like, I don't actually particularly like beards, but still it looks so good with makeup together. You know? And I'm really here for it, so I, I literally, I, I, I cannot come for this. <laughs> Just a reminder that if you like this, you must also be okay with this. Both is good, yeah. I mean, literally, even if you're straight and you want your women in the video game be, to be portrayed like this because you like looking at half-naked women while you game, you must also be okay with the male characters also not really wearing clothes. Even if you're not attracted to it, you must be okay with it. But if you're bisexual, you're probably gonna enjoy both, yeah. <laughs> Me, thinking that I'm the least queer cisad I know of. Me, um, I know binary, bisexual, and aromat, I guess. It's been a journey, I see. I see it's been a bit of a journey for you. From going like, yeah, no, I'm just... Like, I support queer people, like, queer people are cool, like, I don't really, I don't relate, but you know, like, it's cool, like, everyone should be themselves, right? And then you just kind of start to figure things out slowly, one by one, and you're just like, oh, wait. Maybe that's why I relate to people that are queer this much. It's been a journey for you, I see, but honestly, honestly, yeah. I can't, I, I also, listen, I never really figured I was straight, because I always kind of knew I wasn't, but for me to kind of like figure out the sort of exact terminology or like labels that might fit, and then not use them anymore, because I just say I'm queer now, because explaining it would be too complicated. But still, it's been a journey. I um, I could use a lot of labels, but I don't really do anymore. But still, it's also been a journey, and I, f I kind of feel it because you figure out like one thing, you take off the mask, and it's like, okay, I'm this, I'm this thing, I'm whatever, bisexual, and then you find out more things about yourself. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, if I had a nickel for every time one of my close friends or relatives called me a whore for being aero and bi, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah, generally, I have kind of an issue with cishats using the word whore or slut, because they always use it in a very derogatory way, and in, like trying to be shaming you or like trying to shame you away. Especially if you're aromantic, listen, Listen, I don't, I don't see the issue, because people like coming from me like, oh, you're just using people for their bodies. Well, guess what? That's kind of what casual sex is. But you're both kind of agreeing to use each other's bodies. So, literally, why are you coming for it? If two adults decide to have fun together, what do you care? And also, what do you care if they're playing Mario Kart or hooking up? Like, it's literally none of your business. Stop shaming them. What are you doing? And also, just, just say that people doing it is so weird. Because a lot of times when queer people use terms like that, 
it's in a more supportive way of just like, yes, you go, go have fun, go be a whore, and just kind of do it in a more supportive way. So, you know, I, I don't want to come for terms themselves, I just want to use, or like come for the use of it, I guess. <laughs> New therapist helps me come out as bi, and I begin to feel self-acceptance. Yes. Get fired from couples counseling due to therapist ethical conflicts. I'm so sorry, man. Why, why though? How is it an ethical conflict for you that other people are attracted to multiple genders? Again, it it won't go into my head. Like, I know it's a thing. Like, I know people are homophobic and I know they're biphobic. It still won't go into my head because I don't understand why. Baby bisexual. When do I quit getting imposter syndrome? Veteran level bisexual. <laughs> That's the neat part. You don't. What did I say about the bicycle of constantly questioning if you're actually bisexual or if it's just compad because... Sometimes you're more attracted to women, and then you're suddenly more attracted to men, and just constantly questioning it. Yeah, that's the neat part. You kind of don't. <laughs> Who wants a girlfriend? Everyone. Okay. Who wants to talk to a girl? Really? Really no one? Alright. Who wants a boyfriend? Everyone. Okay. Who wants to make the first move, since they obviously don't? <laughs> This is the definition of awkward silence. But literally, you kind of have to talk to people and be willing to put yourself out there if you want to date. That's kind of how this works. <laughs> okay, also, not a meme, but nothing tastes better than bisexual. Not a meme, but important. I love this flair though. But listen, this ice cream looks so good. Why does this look so good? Now I want ice cream. I don't have bisexual colored ice cream, but I do think I actually still have cookie ice cream in my freezer, so... I know what I'm doing after this video. But still, this ice cream just looked so good, and that's why I wanted to include it, because I looked at it and I was like, yes, this is pretty, I need to share it. You know? <laughs> okay, which path will I choose today? Bisexual, bipolar, or just being a straight up bitch? Or a queer up bitch, I guess. But I mean, that's kind of... That's kind of the neat part. You don't really have to choose a path, you can like, walk multiple paths, because especially if you're bisexual, and you're bipolar, you don't really get to choose to be it one day. That's not really how it works. You can choose to be a bitch. You could also choose not to be a bitch, but I can listen. People be tempting and I can understand why you would want to choose that. You know, I totally understand. I'm not coming for it. <laughs> Anyways. Honestly, as someone who used to identify as bisexual, I, I still love bisexual memes. Because they're relatable and they're funny. And even though I might not fully understand everything, because... I mean, obviously, that's why I don't go by it any by like bisexual anymore. It's because I realized that parts that just really don't make sense to me, and that I I don't relate to it at all. But still, I love bisexual memes. So I hope you enjoyed them too, and I hope you're hydrated because I'm not telling you for nothing, you know. So maybe go drink something if you haven't, and I'll be back in a couple days with my next video.